Hello, everybody. This is Gleaming Colt, back with another World of Warship Splits video. Today, we are reviewing the IJN Congo, the Tier 5 Japanese battleship. Some people were saying, well, you've already made a review on the Congo just a few months ago. Yeah, that video is gone now because, um, if you didn't see my announcement video, every single one of my videos were deleted. So, um, I've got to rebuild. And to do that, I have to, basically, if I want to get back up to five, I mean, 25, 24 video, 23 videos plus 24, plus four shorts, I need to actually upload four times a day at least. So, if you see a lot of videos in one day, that's why. So. Getting away from all that, the IJN Congo was named after the IJN Congo was named after Mount Congo, was a war and was a warship of the Imperial Japanese Navy during World War One and World War Two. She was the first battle cruiser of the Congo class among the most heavily armed ships in any navy when built. Her designers was the British a naval engineer. George Thruston, and she was laid down in 1911 at the Barrow in Furness in Britain by Vickers Shipping Building Company. Congo was the last Japanese capital ship to constructed outside of Japan. She was formally commissioned in 1913 and patrolled off the Chinese coast during World War I. Congo under underwent two major reconstructions beginning in 1929. The Imperial Japanese Navy rebuilt her as a battleship, strengthening, strengthening her armor and improving her speed cap and power capabilities. In 1935, her superstructure was completely rebuilt. Her speed in was increased and she was equipped with launch catapults for float pl planes. Now fast enough to accompany Japan's growing carrier fleet, Congo was reclassified as a fast battleship. During the Second, Second Sino-Japanese War, Congo operated off the coast of mainland China before re being redeployed to the 3rd Battleship Division in 1941. In, in 1942, she sailed as a part of the Southern Force in preparation for the Battle of Singapore. Congo fought, fought major, many major bat ma naval actions of the Pacific War. During World War II, she covered the Japanese armies, Amphibious landings in the British Malaya, part of the present-day Malaysia. Mal Sorry, I'm not good at pronouncing things today. And the Dutch in East Indies, now Indonesia. In 1942, before engaging American forces at the Battle of Midway and during the Guadalcanal campaign throughout 1943, Congo primarily remained at Truck Lagoon and the Caroline Islands, Cure Naval Bay. Kiro Naval Base near Hiro Hiroshima, Sasebo Naval Base, and Linga Roads, and deployed several times in response to American aircraft carrier raids on the Japanese islands, island bases scattered across the Pacific. Congo participated in the Battle of the Philippine Sea and the Battle of the Leyte Gulf in 1944, 22nd to 23rd of October, engaging and sinking American vessels. In the latter, Congo was torpedoed and sunk by the U.S. Sub, U, the submarine USS Sea Lion, while transi transiting the Forma, Formosa Strait on 22nd November 1944, she was the only Japanese battleship sunk by a submarine in the Second World War. So, a lot of history to this ship, actually. Um, and honestly, very it's a very good read, and it's honestly a lot of history. Now, the Congo in-game. Congo has 36,624 hit points, which is very good for a Tier 5 battleship. A Citadel protection of 10%, fire and flooding resistance of 12.5%, damage reduction of 12%, torpedo damage reduction of 12%. The maneuverability, this is the fastest Tier 5 battleship in the game, with a max speed of 30.78 knots. Time to full speed is 17.88 seconds. Max reverse speed of 5.60 degrees per second. Turn time of 13.80 seconds. Turn time. The maneuverability. In short, 
very good maneuverability. Guns, the guns of this ship, we have four, we have eight 356 millimeter L45 41 guns with a 19.35 second reload time, a range of 12.21 kilometers. The HE damage has a damage of 986 damage per shell with a chance of setting fire of 12%. With an AP damage of 1,400. With a citadel damage rate of 250%. With a turret traverse speed of 5.35 degrees per second. The secondary battery guns are the 152mm L5041s. We get 14 of them. Which means we get 7 per side. 9 second reload, which is pretty long. But again, they're, but the damage is 4, 426 damage. Range of 5.28 kilometers. Chance of setting a fire of 4%, and turret traverse speed of 10 degrees per second. The AA armament. Uh, let's just say it's not the greatest AA ship. It is not bad AA for tier 5 standards. But remember, you're also going against tier 6 carriers, so this could be a problem. But personally, for me, I don't see a huge problem in it. 108 damage. For the large caliber AA damage, small caliber AA damage of 60, 3.60 kilometers, 1.50 kilometers. Surface section, 11.34 kilometers. At least in my build. So, um, elite bonus. This, for me, is a no-brainer. While you could go for battleship modernization for more hit points, torpedo damage reduction, and small caliber AA damage, and while that is a viable option for me personally, I like to get that. Re I want to get that reload down even further and have that main battery traverse speed better, if that makes sense. Because you do have a decent amount of hit points for tier five. You don't. You could get more, but in my opinion, eh. um, small caliber AA damage is, nah, whatever. Torpedo damage reduction. I don't get hit by torpedoes that often in this ship. I mean, I do get hit by torpedoes, but not too often, if that makes sense. And, of course, no one goes for the the XP plus 10% bonus, because no one does. Uh, battle honors. Real quick, because no one does these, and I'd like to be the first person to do it. Play 10 battles, win 10 battles, and 15 enemy cruisers. Camouflage, we have no historical camouflage, so we'll put this... Well, actually, no, we're not going to put you. We're just going to put the Seaborn Assault Camouflage on. And for our ship skills, we get two precise aiming system ones, which increases gun accuracy by 25% for 20 seconds. All right. Um, supplies. I have high-grade coal, improved crew ration, preventative maintenance pack. People would argue that high-grade coal should be replaced by refined diesel. Personally, I find high-grade coal to be helping better. I find it help better than high Fine Diesel. I have tested it. They're both, vi in my opinion, they're both viable, but I'm sticking with high grade coal because that's personally my style and how I like to play. Equipment. I have main battery mod 2 in the first slot to get more reload down, to get more reload time. And your gun turns don't get shot off too easily, so the main battery survivability time, so the main battery survivability minus 25% doesn't hurt me too much. You might get one turret shot off, but it's rare, in my opinion. Because the ship is technically a fast battleship slash battlecruiser, I put propulsion mod. Modification 1 in the second slot. Because the acceleration helps. Especially with me and battle... Because with me, at least with battlecruisers, you need that acceleration. Because you don't have the greatest armor. You're not tanky. You're not in New York. So, you're not going to survive, you know, you wouldn't survive as many hits from, like, a battleship than you would say, like, on uh, a New York or something like that. And the third slot is pretty controversial. A lot of people would go for the standard steering gear modification 2. I went for propulsion modification 2 to get more speed because I wanted that extra speed to get out of there quicker. Because while you could say, oh, you can use steering gear to dodge shells, yes. But I use this if I'm in a tough situation and I need to just get out of there. And it helps a ton. At least in my opinion. Alright. Commander. 
commander build, we have a level 5 commander, almost level 6 commander, actually. So, you know what? Actually, no, no I'm not going to level it. Um, underwater protection expert, torpedo alert, artillery maintenance expert, victorious charge, and I went with the fire supremacy. I do own the Amagi, but my Amagi has Icer Yuku Yamamoto on him. It, so, I went with Fire Supremacy because this is my Congo commander. Further up the line, you would probably want Generalist, um, Marksman. You could either take Extinguisher or if you want a more tanker, a tanky passive build, go with Extinguisher. If you want more of aggressive build, Adrenaline Rush. Uh, definitely Demolition Expert. Probably Compartment Maintenance. maintenance because, no, I don't think this is worth it. Um, APCS, and then you could either take Horizontal Protection or Citadel Strike. I'm going, I, I, I don't know what I'll go for yet. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I think that's it, actually, for, um, my build and setup for the ship. I think. Yeah, actually, it is. All right, so I have two battles for you, just like I did in my original Congo review. I have two battles. So let's get into the battles, shall we? The first battle is Domination on Big Race. We've got a Ho Show, a Julio Cesare, an Asian Corps, Texas, Celebs, a, Kats, a Casta, and the Kamikaze. Okay, a lot of premiums on the enemy team. But also that Julio Cesare is probably the rental Julio Cesare, I believe. Big race. Nation, I like this map, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to Area C. I'm going to call it Area C. Capture Area C. I'm going to go to Area C, and we should also have probably... Capture Area A. There's an island in front of us. I didn't start turning quick enough because I was trying to take the commands. All right, let's go to C. Um, what do we have on our team? A Langley, a Julio Cesare, a Puerto Vakili, Koenig, Congo, Emerald, Matsuki. Okay, actually, that's a pretty good team. Um, Emerald, not the greatest ship in my opinion, but it's not bad. It's not, it's not, you know, the Hawkins. Um, alright, no one's going to C. They're going to A. There are ships in A. Probably the Kamikaze or the Acosta. Enemy team captured the area. Okay, Target something's spotted. in A. Yeah, there's a destroyer in A. Can't really locate, locate it. Can't see it. I've been detected. Okay. Slow down. Turn. There's the celebs. Precise aim activated. Precise aiming. Celebs. Just a good salvo. No, he started. Stop. Nope. Actually, that was not too bad. That wasn't too bad, actually. I guess. Oh, Julio Cesare. That way. Hello, Mr. Cesare. You like to be Julioed? Sorry, we're good at, I'm not good at making jokes. And that was a pretty Our decent hit. Oh, um, ooh, there's an Ash Core. That thing is gonna be dead. That thing can be a little bit dangerous. Uh, celebs, not too dangerous. Not great. It, it's, it's, it's average. Let's get some hits on the Ashen Core. You can get a Citadel, please. Good nope, job. we get a decent amount of hits. Alright. Kamikaze has been destroyed, but the Julio Cesare is already been. Our Julio Cesare has been destroyed. So, alright. Alright, slowing down, turning inward. Fire number salvo at the Ashen Core, and can you get that hit? Oh! Enemy heavily damaged! Ooh! That hurt. That must have very much hurt that Ashen Core. Oh! Our team captured the area! Um, yeah, this Ashen Core is fierce. Um, go for the Ashen Core. Texas just destroyed our Emerald. Of course he did. Nice oh, shot. We're getting some decent shell, shell hits on the um the Asian core. Um, nice. Nope. Ugh, Peter Bakili gets sunk. Great. And we've just lost our Langley. Are you kidding me? Precisely oh, this activated. isn't great. This isn't fun. What happened to our team? We're under okay, attack. So we got the uh, Asian core. Thank you. Uh, now there's a Julio Cesare. The celebs don't have to really worry about that, but Julio Cesare has to do. I have to sort of worry about. So, he's at pretty low health. I'm at pretty much close to my health. Yeah, out of range. And for some reason, 
fire. I did. Come on. Okay, Koenig. Can we get him? Nope. Didn't get him quite yet. But my secondary don't I don't think they're gonna take him out. I don't remember about Celeb. Celeb has no torpedoes whatsoever. So um, I, I think like one main battery shell hit. And then Celebs. Cruiser. Give me broadside. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Texas. Enemy aircraft incoming. Angle away from the Texas. Celebs. We're hit. Chunk damage off me, out and off me. Enemy aircraft incoming! Right, save these shells. Salvo, you should be firing me. Yeah. Fine, you didn't. Alright, turn away. Turn away. There's a carrier. The carrier sunk, maybe. Hopefully. Ow! Ow! Please help! Ow! Um, actually, uh, let's go for the carrier, because he's a bot carrier, and if we can get him. Enemy aircraft incoming! Very annoying We're under little attack. pest. Torpedo no, six, six shells. Oh, oh, situation is under control. No way I would have survived without oh, man. <sighs> Well, I think the, um, the enemy team just gave us a paddle, shall we say. Our team absolutely just died. So, um, yeah. That wasn't so great, was it? No, it really was not, actually. Cast up. Cast up. Probably firing torpedoes at Koenig. Yeah, I can sort of hear him firing torpedoes. Yep. No, but the Koenigs is smart. The Koenig is smart. The enemy team is about to away. win. The annoying carrier is trying to get Koenig. Like he should be. Annoying bloody carrier. Um, Celebs is somewhere. I think. I don't know where Celebs is. No, probably. Nope, there's a Celebs. Yeah. Yeah, we've lost this. We've only got 30, 37 seconds. 35 seconds left. So, um, yeah, we've pretty much lost this. If I was able to take out the carrier, I could Enemy and the Celebs. The area. Maybe we have a fight, fighting chance, but no. Ugh. Dang it. 15 seconds. Yeah, we've lost. We've lost this. Um. Yeah. Yeah, there's no I'm sorry. Ugh. Well. I mean, good job, celebs. You occasionally need that type of game. But, um, let's see how we did, actually. Um, coming top... We came top the team, and... Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh at the enemy team, but... Oh, God. Look! Emerald, Matsuki, Julio, Cesare, and the Langley. I mean, I expected with the bot, but... Really? Wow. I pretty much absolutely carried that, even though we lost. Um, Good job to Celebs. You were a very good player. So was the um, Katsuki. Um, Alright. Battle details. Personal battle performance. 62 main battery shell hits. 10 secondary hits. 1 Citadel. 1 ship destroyed. One module, two modules destroyed. Um, let's see. Uh, four aircraft destroyed. One sh capture point captured. Two capture assists. One assist. Five taking fires. Fire and two enemies spotted. In our per team play performance, in the reward details, not much. We didn't get that much. Um. Yeah. Um, we did get the Battle Star, but that's about it. So, um, yes, defeat in our defeat, but yeah. Let's see how the second, but well, we still have one more battle, so let's get into the second battle, shall we? The second battle, it is base capture on Silent Shoals. 
We are bottom tier. But there's an Arizona, Double Julio Cesare, Emerald, Cordovaski, Farragut, and a Nicholas. All right, not bad. Ooh, um, base capture. So that's fine. Um, looks like we're spawning with the Nicholas. That's good. And yeah, so. Battle starts. Reading. Thank you. Not thank you. Not thank you. I'm sorry. Not. No way. <laughs> I meant. Let's do this. I meant greeting. Sorry. Negative. Hello. Wow, you're just having a really bad day, aren't you? It cannot be done. Wow. Actually, wow. Um. No, I'm not going to report him, actually. He's doing nothing wrong. He's just being extremely annoying and discouraging in the chat. Maybe he... Maybe he just... He has been losing a bunch of games, but, um... I don't know. Um... So, let's see... Target spotted! Oh, we got a cold off a ski. Just slow down a little bit. Stop. Reverse. Nope, there's the emerald. Okay, emerald. Priority target. Precise activate. up. Ooh, that looks like a good salvo. Target yes, it's a good hit. salvo. Ooh, nice. Nice chunk damage. No Citadels, but that's fine. It's not Legends. It, we're not going to absolutely destroy people outside of the... Black people out of the water. All right, Cold of a Ski, you're doing something stupid. We hit okay, the that enemy. was a pretty poor salvo. You know what, that's fine. Ooh, Arizona. Got to watch out for the Arizona. Nope, Farragut! Okay. Speed up. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, you little... Turn. Torpedoes! Turn, you Japanese! Come on! Okay, that was a pretty... That was a good strike from the Farragut. Got eight. But now, let us turn away from the Arizona. And let's focus all our efforts on the Farragut. Alright, you little... You little imp. You, you little bug. You pest. Oh, of course I have to oh, Yay. Okay, let's try to, um... Try to get the enemy team to actually focus on him, please. Are we just gonna, you know, follow this Farragut around the island? Because if so, I'm gonna be extremely annoyed. Oh! Enemy oh, no, he spot. Never mind. Never mind. Under attack. Ow! You little bug. Get out of my life, you bug. No, but get out. Get away. Get away. What are you... You're not even firing your gun. Good job. Sight is not spawned. Please let me see. Enemy shot. Yep, destroyed. All right. Oh, wait. Why am I... Okay, I've got to go undetected. Come on. No, let's get undetected. Please, please. Come on, I was already slammed by the torpedoes from the Farragut. We were able to take out the Farragut, but that was a good thing. Looks like Arizona's not going for me. Oh. Let's get out of here. My extreme low health. My repair party's about to come off full down. Really don't want to fire unless Arizona can fire. Nope, he's going for me. Nope, he's going for me, so you don't want to fire. Oh, yeah, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here when you have the chance. Wait, he's probably actually going behind the island, so actually... Oh, I don't want to get... Oh, I'm in a very bad position. Oh, I'm in a bad position. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, because he's going behind the island. No! Oh! Please, no! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you, um, RNG. You didn't absolutely blat me out of the water! But there's an error. There's a Nicholas and an Emerald. Um, the actually the Emerald is probably gonna be taken out because yeah. Yep, he's gonna be taken out. Um, I gotta get out of here, please, please. Yep, Emerald's been sunk. Let me get back into the cap. Um, uh, oh, uh, this is where my. This is why I like having propulsion mod two. Get out. Get away. Stop. Run. Shoot something else. Shoot the shoot the Nicholas. Okay. Um, I'm out of detection range, which probably means he won't he won't see me. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. There's two battleships and a destroyer left. What is the? There's a Nicholas left. Um. I don't know where the Nicholas is though. Um. There's two battleships by the um. In the mini map. 
top, I mean, middle, bottom, the bottom middle of the minimap, so that's fine. Really don't want to re-engage the, um, Arizona. But I also really don't want to engage that, um, I also don't want to engage that Julio Cesare. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe when I fire, I'll have enough time to get behind the island, which means most of his shots will hit. Actually, that could work. That could work. Oh, the Julio Cesare just took out the Koenig. Okay. Arizona just took out the Nicholas. Okay. Then I don't want to actually do this idea. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, no. Precisely. Doing activated. I'm doing it. I'm being stupid and I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna. This is gonna bite me in the. It's gonna bite me in the butt, isn't it? Yep, it's gonna probably bite me in the butt. Unless that battleship can actually take out the uh, Julio Cesare, I don't see. Nope, Puso just took out the Julio Cesare. Okay. I don't want to die. Because while we are ahead on points, I still don't want to risk getting sunk. If Nicholas can get um sunk, then maybe I'll start risking myself. But as of now, really don't want it. Nicholas just took out the Nuremberg. Okay. Now I really... Okay, I need to stop doing this. Because this, this is good. I'm really risking the entire team doing this. We have 37 seconds. You know what? Just stay behind the island for 37 seconds. You can do this. None of my guns can actually reach. Okay. Even if that Arizona could actually get behind the island and get a salvo in, he probably is not going to kill me because the way I'm doing this is I'm just staying behind the island. Okay. Okay. I think we've won this. Yeah, we won this, actually. So, um, that's good. Very good, actually. Yep, we won. Ha! Gleaming to And we take the Battle Star. And the MVP. So, um, okay, we took the MVP. That's actually very good, actually. Um, so, let's see. Oh, yeah, we did really. Oh, yeah. Um, great job to that, uh, great job to the, uh, I'm sorry, you were very mean, but I'm just, you know what? Unsupporting behavior. There. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, that was a pretty fair match. I mean, we pretty much lost most of our team, but we still won. I mean, if if I basically was doing something stupid and I just kept going, I would probably get sunk and we would have lost. But, let's... Now, battle details. 43 main battery shell hits. 14 secondary battery shell hits, 1 ship destroyed, 2 enemies set on fire, 1 module damaged, 3 enemies spotted, two, 1 assist, 7 taking fire. 40,195 damage caused, 1 ship destroyed, 165 team play performance. 1,390 XP, 68 free XP, 8,082 silver, with 1,390 commander XP, blueprints, good. And we got the Battle Star out of that, which is very nice. So, Congo. This is an extremely good ship. It's an extremely fun ship, an extremely great ship. Honestly, I'd say get this ship. It's great for beginners, first of all, because, like, you don't have to worry about, like, 20... Like, it's great for beginners. You've got good guns. You've got great... You've got decent armor. Granted, not as thick armor. Still good armor. Fast, immovable, and overall just really fun to play. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you please like. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, comment down below your feedback or feedback and just things to say. I'm always reading you guys' comments. I'm always replying to most of your comments. If they come late, that's because I'm usually doing something. But um, I usually always try to respond to everyone's comments. Join my Discord server. We're always having a lot of fun there. And I, um, yeah, it's a different Discord server because I'm accident I accidentally deleted my official Discord server originally because I tried to delete an old server. So that was stupid. So, um, 
I hope you today enjoyed today's video. Please note there are more videos coming today. So, um, goodbye.